That EDM drop was generated entirely by an AI, using one of my songs as a starting point. I'm gonna play the full version of that and a few others in a little bit, but first, let's get a little bit of background. Back in April of this year, 2020, OpenAI released their latest project, Jukebox, which generates music using a neural network. They fed it a ton of music in a bunch of different genres, and then it can, from the ground up, generate songs. And you can specify the genre, and you can either just let it do its thing completely from scratch, you can feed it lyrics, or you can feed it a song and then tell it to continue it. And they put the code out on GitHub, and I believe on Collab at the beginning, and I had absolutely no idea how to run it, and I probably don't have a computer nearly powerful enough anyway. But I was always fascinated by this, so when some people started figuring out how to use Google Collab to actually generate results pretty easily, I jumped on it. And it's starting to become a bit of a meme, and so I think I jumped on this at the perfect time. And I wanted to put it through its paces, have it use my own songs as starting points and see how it continues them. What you're about to hear is sometimes actually kind of banging and sometimes pretty disturbing. So you've been warned. The process goes like this. You get access through Google Colab to one of Google's really high-end processors. You load in a snippet of a song. You specify the genre, specify lyrics, if any set it to work and it'll generate however many samples you specify, in my case, three. So it'll take the little snippet of music that I gave it and it will try to continue it given what it knows about how music works. From there, you can upsample it, essentially taking a low resolution idea and enhancing it until it's somewhat high fidelity. This first sample was my first attempt at using it and I fed it one of my Synthwave songs. I didn't upsample it because I wasn't super familiar with the process and wanted to just see if it worked. So here's a very quick snippet of that and I promise that the rest will be higher quality. This second example is super quick, and then by far the best ones are the third and fourth, which is when I really got a hang of the software and really got some weird results. But this second sample is interesting because for one thing, I fed it a metal tune, and it completely changed up the feel when it took over. As you can probably hear, they had probably been feeding it a steady diet of slightly older school metal and rock, and so it just didn't know what to do with my kind of gent metal core type riff, which I thought was a really interesting little kind of microcosm of how this thing works and worth sharing. But let's move on to sample three, which is the one that you heard a snippet of in the intro. In this case, I had it generate three different songs, and then I took the best parts and kind of mashed them together to make an AI remix. So here's that.
this is a little bit cursed, but also it generated some genuinely really cool stuff. I love the kind of push and pull of the groove that it generated around the first half. And then that little fill that it generated was super dope and something that I didn't create or prompt it to create in the slightest. But you might have noticed that it starts to go off and really go into some kind of non sequiturs. Like it does its own thing if left to its own devices for long enough. And you've also probably noticed that this thing seems to have ghost voices kind of drifting through it. And I think that's a byproduct of the fact that this thing is meant to process lyrics. You're supposed to feed it lyrics and it's supposed to put vocals to them. And so when given no lyrics, it doesn't seem to quite know what to do. And so they keep creeping back in. And this part is genuinely pretty creepy. So if you're sensitive to horror type stuff, uh, skip to this timestamp. But here are the parts that I deliberately cut out. That's almost some spirit box type stuff. Like I don't believe in ghosts in the slightest, but that's kind of creepy. <laughs> and I think that's just a byproduct of the way that the system is set up. And I've heard this in other examples of other people using it as well. And you're gonna hear some other vocals crop up again, but slightly less disturbing because we're moving on to the fourth and final sample. I fed it a dubstep track because I really wanted to push this thing to its limits and see how it would handle that. And it ended up going in some pretty different directions. The first one ended up being fairly normal and kind of furthered the dubstep groove, which I thought was cool. The second one, however, was pretty surprising, but I think actually pretty awesome. So once again, I've mashed those two together to create an AI remix, so here's that. <laughs> So here's the thing about that. I did not feed it any lyrics. I have no idea what the hell those vocals are saying or why the hell they slap, but they do. The AI has some flow to it and it rides over the dubstep beats quite well. I don't know if it's pulling from something existing and that kind of got like mashed up with another existing song or why it decided to go in that direction, although it makes a lot of sense for dubstep, but Regardless, that's what it gave me. And that's not even including the third sample, which really went off and just did its own thing entirely. This is so well structured that at first I assumed it just took an existing song and recreated it for some reason, but I tried to Shazam it and came up with nothing. So there's a good chance that that's just something it decided to generate. And I don't know why or where it came from, but once again, it kind of slaps. So that's the extent of my experiments so far with this thing. I'm sure I'll do a follow-up video with more examples and more experiments, but I wanted to get this out there because I'm really excited about this. 
it's a fun tool. I don't know how useful it actually is, especially because it's still kind of janky, kind of crackly, sounds like it's coming through an old radio, and it's still fairly cursed. It keeps trying to sneak vocals back in there, these kind of weird ghost demon voices, and it keeps going off and doing its own thing, switching up genres unexpectedly. It's hard to control because it's a bit of a black box and that's how neural networks are meant to be. But I've had a lot of fun playing with it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And this has been my first attempts at getting AI to make my music for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see a video that I did when Jukebox first came out where I just remixed some of their samples, you can click or tap up over here. And if you'd like to see my song ideas generator, you can click or tap up over here. That's something simple that I actually built myself. Not AI in the slightest, but still takes the idea of using machines and software to help us with creativity. So I'll be back with a new video in a little bit. See you then.